Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to lock any iPhone app with Face ID, of course the passcode or Touch ID if you still have a device with Touch ID. Well, that's very simple actually, even though we don't have a feature that allows us to do that, that has been specifically designed to do that, but still we can do that through a workaround here on the automations of iOS 17.4. And this will work on all iOS 17 versions as well. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to new automation right here. Of course, you find the automations on the shortcut app. You go here and then on this list, just choose app. So right here, you will have to choose which apps you want to lock. Now this list can be edited at any time you want. So you tap on choose right there. So let's choose books and calculator here and the calendar and tap the dumb button. Now make sure that right here, tap on run immediately and then tap the next button. Now what you need to do here is tap right there where it says new blank automation and then tap here on add action and here search for lock screen. So there we have lock screen, tap on it and now you're good to go. Tap the dumb button and you will see how quickly and how effective this method is to lock any of your apps. So if I just want to lock here the calculator app, you see I just locked it right there. And now you can see if I try to open it, what it does. It basically runs that automation that will lock the screen. You can see how fast that is. Once you try to actually open that app, it will lock the screen of the device. Now, the only way to go back there is, of course, to unlock the device. But for that, you will need the face ID or the touch ID or the passcode of the device. So you can see here I'm back on the device. Now we're on the app here. But if I go out of the app, try to open it again, you will see that it will immediately lock the device. Now, if you want to edit the list of your locked apps, all you have to do is just go back to the shortcuts app, go here under automations, go to the automation that you have created. You can see right here, it says when calculator is opened, you tap right there, where it says app, it says calculator, you can go ahead and now pick other apps. So you've done that. So you will see right here, it says when any of four apps are opened, of course, it will lock the device. Again, you can go back here at any time you want and then just tap right there, deselect the apps that you have selected, select other ones, it works actually very, very good. And it's very smooth and it's a very effective way to lock any app you want. Now here's another thing that you can do here with automations that I think is really cool. This is also a method to maybe locking all of your apps instead of one. So what you can do here is tap on new automation and then again, go to app. Now, if you give your phone to someone and you just want them to use one app, you know, people sometimes will get out of that app and maybe look at something else. Well, just go ahead and click here where it says is closed. Deselect this, select this, and choose here the app you want. So let's say calculator, tap the dumb button, and tap on run immediately. Tap next, and again, tap on new blank automation, and again, add lock screen. So there we have lock screen, tap on it, tap the dumb button, now you're good to go. So someone can open the calculator app. Of course, you give the phone to them, maybe the photos app or whatever you want them to watch, but you don't want them to go anywhere else. Once they go out of the app, you will see that the device will automatically lock. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you on the next one.